think coming up together, I think we had a, a very similar style of play. Our club coach was very demanding of us and what he expected. So I think we also knew what to expect from each other coming into college and just you knew someone had your back coming into this like new world and I think that really helped us both to like mature into the players we are now. And I think having someone that knows your personality too going into a new environment is also comforting at least. We're roommates or we're roommates for the past three years so the bond that we already had from club just totally expanded then. Yeah we were close on club but I wouldn't say we were like best friends but I think um, even like the, our first semester we were both like wary of each other still and then after that we just like really bonded and like we were probably like best friends on the team now. Yeah. I think you see a lot of different sides of a person. I mean we live together, we play together, um, we'll go out socially together so you just see every aspect of them and you also see people through their hard times and I think that defines a lot like you know my freshman preseason was really hard and I I think she was good for being a good sounding board. And I also think we're very honest with each other. Like, if I have a bad game or a bad play or she makes a bad pass, I'll tell her. <laughs> and I think she'll do the same with me. And I don't know if everyone is capable of doing that with their friends. Yeah. A week before preseason start started, we all um, came together and we have a house off campus. So all of the freshmen and all of the underclassmen came early. And so that was like a fun little week because we got to show them like we brought them to Jones Beach and we brought them bowling in Port Jeff and we just did a lot of things to like get them bonded with our teammates but also to like see Long Island like understand that like this is where we are and this is the type of team we're going to be. For me it's all about like showing off Long Island like I'm proud obviously I'm a Long Islander I'm <laughs> proud to be from here and so we have a couple girls on the team and I, you just like see like the pride that we have and from them coming here, they can just see it as well and just like telling them to go like to these beautiful places. Like I love to send them to Port Jeff or like they ask for food recommendations or I'm like, they're like, how do you pronounce uh, like patch og? I'm like, well, it's a patch and then og, which really like throws them off. But yeah, it's just so many different things about Long Island that I just want to show off. I, I have a lot of pride from being from Long Island because I think it's a great place to grow up. I think it has a lot to offer geographically, food, culture, people. And I just love where I'm from a lot. And, but I do think that there are aspects that I enjoy from my other teammates, like new cultures that have been brought in. So um, the Hawaiian culture, like there's a, two girls now from Hawaii. And I think some of their values are very different from New York values. Like we're very high paced. And I think they're, they're, more they're more relaxed. Like they don't take things as seriously. And I think that that's a good lesson too, to like balance out kind of or high energy. And even things that like we know, like the foreigners like don't know. And so it's fun to kind of explain to them, like if they have a question to like be like, oh, this is what it means or whatever. And they obviously know that Long Island has the best bagels. So. I think we're ambitious. Mm -hmm. I think we're, we have a very hard schedule and I think we're all looking forward and we're all hungry for more. Like we won the American East Championship and I think it's very hard to win a championship and re-win a championship. So I think we, we've we created this winning culture now and it's very hard to live up to that. So I think we're all ambitious and wanting more. Like we want to win some of those games in Oregon and against Notre Dame. And I think that we're always hungry for more. Like we're always talking about raising the bar. Like how could we be better teammates? How could we do small stuff that's better? I think we're talented too. We're bringing a lot of people from different parts of the world and you know soccer style is different from Long Island and Hawaii and so I think that the individual talent definitely helps our team talent. We kind of talk about sweeping the shed so it's doing all the little things right and it's not only doing the little things right for yourself but for the team like teammate next to you so I think that's definitely a driving force is wanting to be better for the person next to you because if you fail then it's hurting them too. Yeah, I think that I've always felt that strongly and I think a lot of our teammates feel that too. I think everyone had the values pretty much instilled in them, but I think when we all come together and we have a lot of team talks too about not just talking about it, but like walking the walk. And I think that we've all, we've seen our progression over the next three, we've seen how far we've progressed in three years. And 
there's all we only want to go up from there and I think everyone is on the same page like I think I've been on teams where everyone wasn't invested and I think it's hard to get everyone as invested as we are and I think that that is one of the really great things about our program is I think everyone does want the same thing.